This is Jim Collison from the Average Guy TV Network. We are in the post show of Home Gadget Geeks. I'm here with Addie Saucedo, and she is an audio engineer, among other things, as well as, as well as a fellow podcaster. And we have some audio tips for you. And so, Addie, before people even go to audio, what are some things that they can do when we think about recording voice? What are some things they can do that'll help them out? So I think the most important part before you even start recording is prep as much as you can on the topic or the interview that you're going to do. Always prepare because you're going to be confident in what you say. You're going to be confident in just how you feel about the subject. You're not going to hesitate too much and not much hesitation is going to let that content resonate stronger with your audience. Number two, it reduces the ums and ahs that comes out of your mouth and there's nothing more attractive than just really confident, really straight to the point type of content for your audience. So prep as much as you can on the topic or interview that you're going to do. Um, number two, have room temperature water. Don't have cold water, don't have coffee, don't have tea. Uh, although I love all those drinks, room temperature water is best for your voice because when you have cold, when you have hot, it's just a little too extreme on the vocals and you're not going to have a lot of mouth noise. Every time I hear a podcaster and they have a lot of mouth noise, I'm like, ugh, I don't want to hear it. I'm shutting it off. It's annoying me because I hear more of the mouth noise than the actual content. So room temperature water, always best. Um, there's, it's going to help reduce a lot of coughing or anything that happens. Number two, you have a windscreen. This is, I think, a couple cents on Amazon. You can get a pack for, I think, at three dollars for five I believe and they come in different colors or you can just get a well, I don't know if I can see that one but this one's gray and they're really cheap but if you talk really powerful with your B's your P's and your, you have a lot of S's these come in handy if you don't want one of these and you want to look a little more fancier and cooler pop filters work a lot uh, a lot of singers use this for that very same reason. They don't want a lot of the S's come out. They want to project their voice without interrupting and making peak noises. So those are, the, I think, the main three tips I can give before you start recording. So uh, as far as additional equipment then, if I want my recording to sound good, you talked about a pop filter. Is there anything else I can add to my microphone that might reduce the noise? Shock mounts. Um, get your microphone off the desk. That's the number one that I've seen when producing for other clients. They have their microphone on that cute little stand that comes on their desk, but the second they start, you know, tapping on the desk, they write, they're writing something, they're typing, it's going to pick up all those noises. So take the microphone off the desk, get a tripod if you have to, or get one of these cool desk mounts. Really cheap, I think, like I mentioned, 32 bucks. You get the arm plus the shock mount. And then if I do have to do some editing, because if you know, re regardless of what you're recording, you always don't get it right the first time. Typically, ums are you know, ums and ahs are the most common things we have to remove. Any tips about getting those out of the audio files? To get them out of the audio file, cut, go and zoom in because all these um, DAWs, these digital workstations, you're able to zoom in into the audio. Zoom in as much as you can delete from when the ah starts or the um starts into the end, that's going to be very precise and it's not going to be so uh, noticeable that you deleted it. Also, when it is noticeable, you can, still hear, hear, uh, you can still hear that jump, crossfade or fade in those two sides together and that max, max I can't say that word, uh, but <laughs> it, it combines the two clips together very smoothly and you won't be able to hear it. Your audience won't be able to hear it. Very good. Well, Addie, thanks for taking a few minutes to give us some tips around, uh, some audio tips around this. And this has been Home Tech Tips. If you want to find more of these out there, you can head out to theaverageguy.tv. Thanks for listening.